Give Local 757 is still weeks away, but because of the pandemic, they're asking you to donate to nonprofits in our area right now if you have the means. That includes the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank. Ashley Smith shows us how that group has been making a mark in our community for more than three decades, getting nutritious meals to those in need. Amid the coronavirus, livelihoods have been disrupted, and there may be more new faces of hunger than ever before. About 68% of the people that we served over the past three to four weeks is new to the food bank or our partner agencies. Karen Joyner is the CEO of the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank, distributing food to individuals and families in need for nearly 35 years. Joyner says some of its distribution sites may be closed, but its community outreach is full speed ahead. The food bank has had to do more and more direct service in order to reach not only the new people who are in our lines, but the people who were depending on our partner agencies in the past. In addition to no contact mobile drive through food pantries, the food banks backpack and kids cafe programs help children missing meals due to school closures and its large scale public distribution events assist those struggling to get healthy food. We'll take three trucks out to these locations and we're able to serve between 400 and 500 households. But Joyner says some mobile pantry sites alone have seen as much as a 90% increase in attendance during COVID-19. So the food bank is now asking for the community's help. Help us restock our shelves because eventually we are going to go through our inventory. The food bank isn't just here during good times. We're here during uh, the disaster times as well. And this just demonstrates the importance of the food banks around the country and what we do. Ashley Smith. 13 News Now.